In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D isometric animation in Figma. Let's begin. All right, here I have three different credit cards and a hero section. And the first thing we need to do is create a frame matching this hero section size. So I'm just going to draw a frame. I'm going to hit A on my keyboard, draw a simple frame like that and change its width to 1440 and its height is going to be 913. Okay. So let me change its height as well. And I'm going to call it card. For this frame, we don't need any background. So I'm just going to get rid of this fill here. And the next thing we are going to do is select all these three credit cards. I'm just going to copy them, hit control C or command C, select this card frame and paste them inside, hit control V or command V. Then I'm going to align them to the center and I'm going to rearrange them. So I'm going to have card one, card two and card three. And these cards should be placed on top of each other. So if I just hide this one, I'll see the other one and this one. Okay. So that's the first step. Next, I'm going to select this card frame and I'm going to turn it into a component. So I'm going to click on this little icon right here to create a component. And then I'm going to need a few variants. I'm going to hit this one to add a variant. Okay, so what do we need? Once the page loads, we shouldn't be able to see these cards. These cards should start moving in from the right side of this page, okay? So what we need to do is move these cards out of this initial variant. In addition, I'm gonna make sure that these cards are rotating at the same time while they are moving in. So what I'm gonna do is rotate these cards just like this. This one as well, I'm gonna rotate it. This one a bit more like that and this one as well and now I'm gonna select them all like this I'm gonna move them and at the same time I'm gonna hold down the space bar on my keyboard this will allow me to move these outside this frame boundary while keeping them inside this default variant otherwise they will be placed outside this default variant which is gonna ruin our animation and it's not gonna work so keep that in mind these should stay inside this default variant. Before we move on, I'd like to take a moment to introduce our today's sponsor, Pixel Free Studio, a company that turns designs into code in seconds, as if written by an expert programmer using one simple click. Yes, you heard that right, one simple click. Plus, they also convert Figma designs into code with ease, offering React, Angular, view, C-sharp, and HTML. This software unleashes your creativity because unlike no-code solutions, you're not limited to libraries. It's also not AI with its unpredictable quirks that create broken code. Plus, Pixel Free Studio is extremely secure. Only you see your code and you can host it anywhere you like. Imagine how much time you can save. No more tedious handwritten code. So if you're ready to design, export, and deploy your next project in seconds without relying on libraries or frameworks, sign up using the link in the description and enjoy this groundbreaking new paradigm in web and app development. All right, next, I'm gonna duplicate this variant. I'm gonna select it, hit Ctrl D or Command D. And then I'm gonna select these cards inside this third variant. I'm gonna select all of them. And I'm gonna use a plugin called Fast Isometric. There are many plugins you can use for this purpose, but in my opinion, this is the best one. So I'm just gonna run it and I'm gonna use this direction just like that. And now, as you can see, we have a 3D isometric perspective, which is exactly what we needed. All right, now I'm gonna select these two top cards, card one and card two. Hold down the shift key on my keyboard and using the arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm gonna move them up a few pixels like this. Now I'm gonna select the top card only and just move it up. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna select this variant, duplicate it once again, and I'm gonna repeat the same thing. Hold down the shift key and move them up just a few pixels. And now let's select the top card only and move it up as well, just like that. All right, we are almost done. Now it's time to connect these variants and make them interactive. So what I'm gonna do is select this default variant, head over to the prototype tab and just connect it to the next variant. The trigger is gonna be after delay because after our page loads, after 200 milliseconds, let's say, the animation should start playing. So I'm gonna set the delay to 200 milliseconds and it should be set to smart animate 
and also for the duration I'm gonna set it to 1300 milliseconds obviously you can adjust these values as you wish but for this tutorial I'm just gonna keep it as is next I'm gonna select this one connect it to the next variant the trigger is gonna be after delay again and the delay is gonna be 200 milliseconds and here for the duration, I'm going to set it to 1200 milliseconds. And then here, we are going to select this top card because this is going to be our trigger. And we are going to connect it to our last variant. So when we hover over this card, these cards should start moving. So I'm going to set the trigger to while hovering like that. And it should be a smart animate. The duration is fine, 1200 milliseconds. And we are almost there. Now let's give it a try and see how it works. I'm going to head over to assets and I'm just going to drag and drop an instance of this card component we just created and let's just align it to our frame like this. Okay, perfect. But we can see our card here. That's fine. I'm going to fix that. While this card component is selected, I'm going to change its variant from default to variant 2 like this. And now we can easily position it, but not here. Okay, what I'm going to do is select these cards inside these variants, all of them, make sure to select all these cards just like this and just move them to the right side. And as you can see, now this card is repositioning. So I'm just gonna move it to the correct place like that. All right, so far so good. Now let's preview it. I'm just gonna select this card component this one, set it back to the default variant, it's so important, otherwise you won't see this first animation. Select this hero section and just preview it. There we go, it worked just fine. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have a great day and see you next time.